Hi all, Plantside Agent here. Today we're going to take a look at uh, using the uh, Tran-G alcohol burner in the uh, hobo stove. So if you're interested, uh, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. This is the uh, actually the fourth video on these 31 ounce uh, tin can you know, hobo stoves. The first video I made was basically a build video on, on the hobo stove. The second video is enhancements I made to the uh, your basic hobo stove. Uh, the third video was a burn test between um, the the basic hobo stove, which doesn't have a grate in the bottom, and uh, the uh, enhanced or upgraded hobo stove that actually has a grate in the uh, bottom, which improved burning quite a bit. So this this one is going to be, as I already said, on the, using the alcohol stove upgrade and to do that I just had cut slots in the in the hobo stove and then took made a couple of the uh, plumber's tape to make trivets that would fit in the slot those in like I said in the uh, the first video I actually give you the dimensions you need for these slots So you get the right the right height on the uh, on the burn. Okay, then they're 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 spread apart so that you can put a trangia or a trangia knockoff uh, burner in the stove. So they'll just fit right in there. Sits on the little ears of the uh, burner rest on the the trivets in there, and it's nice and secure. And you, there you go. So. Let's go ahead and uh, get this set up for a burn. Okay, what I have here is uh, two cups or 16 ounces of 49 degree water. So we'll go ahead and put the stove in here. And uh, I'll put the uh, trivets on. Make the pot stand. There we go. And go ahead and light the burner. There we go. And we'll give that a little bit to uh, to bloom. You know, actually, I found that the uh, Trangia has actually performed just a little bit better than your. Uh, a locks or your knockoffs because I, I think because of the whole patterns or maybe uh, trangias I definitely have wicking material around the uh, from the bottom of the burner to the to the top of the holes where uh, the jet holes where I don't believe these these guys do so that's probably why these tend to bloom a little bit quicker burn a little bit better so anyway it looks like it's bloomed up and ready to roll so let's go ahead and start this off Start the timer. There we go. All right, we're on our way. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off until uh, get a little closer to a boil. Now let's get a look at the flame pattern on this. Looks really good. Let me move you down here. Oops. Try to uh, be stable here so I don't make you seasick. There you go. So there's your. Uh, Burn pattern looks really good. Okay, we're getting there. 723, 211, should be 212 any second. I hear a roaring inside here. Woohoo, there we go. So we got uh, 7 minutes and 32 seconds on the, uh, the boil. Respectable time. So there you go. The uh, Train G alcohol burner works just fine with this uh, mod I made to the uh, hobo stove. Well, while I have everything all set up, I thought I'd just give you a bonus uh, burn test. And what I'm going to use is another upgrade to the hobo stove, and that's where I cut out the uh, top of a uh, tin can lid so that I can use uh, either solid fuel, which I'm not going to do a burn on that because I don't have any solid fuel handy at the moment. And it's messy, <laughs> but I'm going to try 
give you a burn test using this uh, one ounce round cosmetic tin stove. So I just cut this cut this out flat, and it'll fit nicely on top of the uh, the trivets I made for the uh, Trangia, and then you got the little stove here. And I do have a video on how to make one of these stoves, and I'll put that link in the description also if you're interested. So there we go there. Go ahead and throw the trivets on for the pot stand. There we go. If we watch this before, go ahead and light this guy off, and then uh, we'll see what this, what this guy will do in the stove. No. This one's a little bit different because this is sitting on top of the uh, the tin can lid and the height of the, the burner. Uh, it actually is just a little bit higher to the bottom of the stove than with the Trangia by about an eighth of an inch. But still, I think, within the, the realm of acceptability. So let's go ahead. and This thing's lit off. Go ahead and fire this up. Like I say I've got... Two cups of 16 ounces of 52 degree water. And I didn't hit the timer and we're off. So as before, I'll just shut you down until we get a little bit closer. Okay, there's the uh, burn pattern for that little uh, one ounce alcohol burner. Respectable, not quite as vigorous as the Trangia, but it does get the job done. I've tested it on other boils. Yeah, here we are at the boil point for the uh, Trangia. So this guy's a little behind, 168. Okay, getting close. A little over 11 minutes right now. Here at uh, water's busy in here. Oh yeah, it's boiling even though it's not at 212. But you got a rolling boil going on in there. So probably around 11.10 or so for a rolling boil. But to actually get to the uh, 212 true boiling point, or at least the scientific boiling point. Yeah, looks like it's going to have to. Sometimes some of these stoves have to really push to get to that last degree. I don't know why, even though you've got a pretty vigorous boil going on in there. It's a rolling boil, all right. But, you know, I think just for test, just for ballpark figures, I'm going to say 11 minutes and 30 seconds uh, boil for the uh, little. Uh, round burner it might not even get to 212 but that definitely will make coffee cook your dinner disinfect your water whatever you're going to do so anyway that's the uh one ounce uh, round uh, cosmetic tin burner in the uh hobo stove so I really can't uh, think of anything else to say on all this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.